so good evening people so today we'll be starting with new topic that is a risk analysis in capital budgeting sir have we done this uh topic capital budgeting yes we have seen various techniques of capital budgeting like npv irr profitability index payback period etc etc okay now in that analysis we are bringing a small element known as risk or you should analyze capital budgeting techniques by also keeping in a parameter of risk that's all so this is not really a new topic this is just an extension of the previous topic investment decision that we have covered okay fair enough everyone now what is this is basically this topic is all it is trying to say is consider the risk in your capital budgeting decision whenever you are calculating npv irr or whatever no do consider the risk element also now what do we mean by that guys tell me your npv ka format the table you used to put up no can you tell me the format here yeah. okay zero let's say 1 2 3 then you used to consider cash flows then discount factor then the present value yeah. cash flows let's say cash outflow at year zero was 1 lakh inflow let's say first year is 50 then it is 70 then let's say it is 90000 okay everyone this used to multiply by discount factor let's say the discount factor is 10% then you used to find out your profitability index npv etc etc if you are okay all right sir this one means this one what is this one uh, what is the cash flow at year one 50000 it is already achieved or you are estimating the future of now you are planning to take up a project and then from that project we are trying to estimate the cash flow so that means this is not actual cash flow or this is an estimated cash flow future cash flows we are estimating correct at the end of first year we feel we may get 50 at the end of second year we feel we may get 70 at the end of third year we feel we may get 90 our feeling 100% will get recognized huh? or there are other factors at play also could be other things also your feelings may be totally shattered i'm not talking about your personal feelings over here i'm talking about the, the cash flow all feelings correct is it necessary our estimate has to be or will go 100% right or it could go horribly wrong also could go horribly wrong also yes all right meaning there is a chance that first year ka cash flow may be less than 50 or there is a chance that cash flow may be more than 50 so there is a risk associated with this cash flow agreed the risk is that this cash flow may be lower than expected also yes everyone the cash flow that you are expecting could be on the lower side also quite possible correct or no sir that is what this topic is trying to consider don't blindly take the cash flows also analyze or bring in an element of risk there okay consider the risk factor into these calculation then only calculate the npv because risk and return go hand in hand higher the risk you take higher will be the return expected and vice versa yes or no okay that is the reason we should always analyze these decisions by keeping a parameter also known as the risk are we fine now how to find out those risk elements or how to eliminate those risk elements no we have certain techniques that's all in capital budgeting may you learnt some techniques in this problem to mitigate those risks you know we have some techniques some few four or five techniques will come we have to consider them that's all any confusion anybody okay so now why should we consider tell me once again what is this topic all about it is just trying to consider an element known as the risk because whatever number you are estimating in all here no are not a sure short number it is an estimate so there is a high chance or a high risk that your estimates could be right or it could also be wrong so we need to consider factor in those risk element and don't take this cash flow consider the revised cash flow after you take in the risk element then find out the np that's all okay so your cash flows no will get changed or will get revised that's all fair enough everyone and moreover the risk and return will go hand in hand that's the reason risk element consideration is very much important yes sir we'll see party is just started 
okay we have anyway another few hours ka party left you will get to know how and all things will change okay i am little tube late pa i go very very slowly okay you are like a bulb bug you went off <laughs> wait for some time i'll catch up with you okay <laughs> no worries. all right fair enough so you know the reasons why we should consider the risk this actually question came in november 2018 for two marks why should we consider risk element in capital budgeting decision one risk and return go hand in hand i have written in the small points in the chart also one point you can write is risk and return go hand in hand if your project is risky means obviously you will start expecting more return and by considering the risk element no you will be able to find something known as the real cash inflows this is just an outright estimate okay but when you consider the risk element and then find out the cash flow then your estimates will be more or less better than the original correct or no so that means can can't i say this cash flow will be more uh, truth to or it will be more real than the previously estimated one so but by considering risk element what will be able to find out then the real cash flows so these two points if you can remember it should be good once it came in november 2018 paper i think for two marks okay one risk and return go hand in hand and second point is by considering the risk element you will be able to find out the real cash flows associated with the project and that will help you to take the decision much better that's all. can i go for the next one sir sources of risk or you could also call it as type of risk first type of risk is project specific risk this is a risk which is associated with a company or a specific assignment this is a risk associated with a specific assignment or a specific project now consider our academy we are offering ca inter ca ca foundation ca final ca foundation has how many papers four ca inter currently eight proposed to bring it down to six okay let's meet for the time being stick to what is there so let's say we have eight papers so ca foundation may if there are four papers means i need to find how many teachers four teachers ca inter may how many papers i have eight that means how many teachers i need to find eight that means you tell me teachers are available straight away in the market i can go to sabzi mandi and say 1 kg just like we buy tomato capsicum and those things can i buy out teachers or it's a headache job find, finding teachers may be easy but finding good teachers is a headache because teaching only is a headache job truth be told because when we have to teach first we have to learn we have to prepare you like to sit with the books whole day even after ca would you, would you like to sit with the books whole day no it is not that interesting job yes or no yes the communication part with the students is definitely interesting so when student comes back to you and say because of you it help or your course or your uh, uh, your things help me in clearing the examination it always feels nice but there is a lot of preparation behind that activity which many people will not know so that's the reason finding good teachers is actually a headache you tell me now ca foundation how many teachers i need four ca inter eight which is less risky which is more risky ca foundation is a less risky project ca inter is a more risky yes no so that risk we call it as what project specific risk risk associated with a particular project or a particular assignment okay various uh, risk that could come here is one is the project completion time i thought ca inter i'll finish within 9 months fortunately or unfortunately or whatever due to some reason we ended up taking 10 months then obviously it's a big problem for us because students will get less study holiday to prepare it affects our results it affects the students mentality it, it genuine reason also because if some teacher falls sick like i did yesterday can can i come like this and say i teach now if i'm not well means can i take the class no suppose one of the faculties fell well it has happened to us especially due to covid and all it was horrible because what we couldn't call the teachers to the academy we had to send all this equipment to the faculty's house faculty's house no there have, we have to see the lighting arrangement if the lighting is not good means then we will start first of all we may be not that good looking like with bad lighting arrangement we may become horrible only quite possible no we have to look into that our admin guys had to run from pillar to post because not all the faculties are staying together no they are staying in different different place one guy take the class in the morning one guy takes it in the evening we had to transport the equipment from him here to there set up the premises so it was a horrible thing yes or no all right so those are the risk associated with the project project getting delayed etc etc those are the risk that gets covered in project specific risk manageable what can i go for the next next is what 
company specific risk so this is a risk associated only with a particular company like the company specific risk means change in the management see currently we are doing a particular setup because there are a current management team who wants to get it done like that suppose new management team came comes new managing director came do you think he will appreciate the old ideas or he may want to bring in his own ideas especially when you appoint a top level executive and all no? they'll come with their their own headache and their own ideas that ideas could work out for the company also or it may horribly go wrong also so that is your company specific risk change in the management personnel or dis dispute with the workers and management these are all we see no okay so those kind of risk we call it as company specific risk industry specific risk industry specific risk is a risk which affects your whole industry if you just check few years back plastic a certain plastic with certain microns was completely banned i think we still have that you can't lose left right center any sort of plastic only that plastic which is degradable biodegradable that has a particular level of microns we can use yes or no suppose i was a small industry which was producing not acceptable micron level of plastic can i survive or i had to shut down i had to shut down that is what risk industry specific risk because they put that whole black ban on plastic industry itself they didn't put a ban to my company they put a ban on the plastic itself which affects the whole industry in certain states it's an alcohol free state i think gujarat and all i think you can't yes if can i say i will uh, suppose i was a, uh, a company who was into alcoholic brewery company i had a manufacturing plant let's say in gujarat now they brought alcohol ban can i still say who are you i will still do it you can still do it one fine day they'll put tala and say bye bye yes or no so that is what risk industry specific risk because it does not affect my company only it affects the all the company operating in that industry like that okay now market risk market risk means a risk which is driven not from the industry but from the overall market perfect example covid when covid hit it doesn't matter which company you were every company ka share price tanked yes or no all right and almost every company got affected in its operation in its revenue in its manpower in its share price you name it in every area they got punched in the face literally yes or no because that risk was induced by a the overall market okay so like this so if the, your demand condition changes market risk could be changes in your demand condition entry of substitute products etc etc okay these are which is a market specific risk next is competition risk competition risk is a risk which comes from the competitors let's say we are offering coaching at let's say ca foundation coaching at 20000 two competitors came both the competitors are offering only 15000 as the fees don't fight over i don't know the fees just an example i'm telling currently we are charging how much sir 20000 for ca foundation other two competitors are charging higher or lesser lesser now can i survive in this industry they are in the same area same road only all the three of us are academy is in the same road now can i survive that means my pricing strategy i have to change any problem with my company my teachers or anything or this is coming from competitors my competitors ka some uh, policies are affecting mine such a risk we call it as competition risk understood everybody okay if they ask can you manage so what are those again project specific risk which those are the risk which comes from a specific assignment or project then company specific risk which arises from the company like change in the top management dispute with the workers and management etc etc then industry specific risk which affects by the overall industry if there is any change in the industry policies that could affect my company as well then market specific risk those are the risk which is coming from the overall market change in the demand conditions entry of sus uh, substitute products or covid etc etc last is your competition risk which is a risk that comes from your competitors okay now end of of theory now the techniques okay some statistical techniques we have to uh, clear, clear out the risk and we have some conventional te techniques let's go with the first one probability approach i've done statistics in your ca foundation ah huh? see all right first is probability approach how this works let's take it with the help of a question only i think it's easier to understand all this with the numbers and me yapping about it 
Hmm, if I do that, maybe you'll start nodding. So let's go with question number one. You guys took the test that was given? Test was given. I only said the question this time. Normally I only said, but this time I just looked into it even more further. Took it or didn't take it? <laughs> Sounds funny. Few people are saying yes, yes. Others are wondering, who are you? What is test? <laughs> I don't know. Please do take it. Hmm? Again, the intention is to not test your marks, guys. It is just to see, bring in your little bit of preparations around it and get the writing practice in play. Don't worry too much about how much you're scoring in test and all. I'm okay even if you score 1 out of 100. As long as you're studying, okay, as long as you're identifying your mistakes. Because this test to me, if you score 100 on 100 in this test, does mean, that means your CA cleared up. Or what is important? Our mother body cut test, yes or no? So these are the things, these are internal tests should help you to clear the main exam. So take it in that right spirit. Don't get bogged down just because I got two marks or I got 10 marks. Sir. This is a stage for you to identify your mistakes and correct it. Take it in that spirit. If you're scoring good, awesome. If you're scoring good, don't take it to your heart. Don't become overconfident. Or oh, I know everything. I am God now. Apunich Bhagwan. Let's not become like that also. Okay? Fair enough. Let's be grounded. Okay, so see, someone, everyone doesn't matter whether you're scoring 99% or doesn't matter whether you're scoring 40%, every one of them will commit some mistakes, okay, somewhere or the other, because it's humans means mistakes will happen. Identify that, that is the intention, okay, now, nah? all right, coming to the question, sir. Possible net cash flow of project A and B at the end of first year and their probabilities are given below. Discount rate is how much, sir? 10%. For both the project, the initial investment is 10,000. So your zero ka cash outflow is 10,000. From the following information, calculate the expected NPV. They did not ask you NPV. They asked what? Expected, expected NPV from each project and state which project is preferable. Okay. One minute, stop what you're doing. Check the screen. If you just check, you know, have they given cash flows? And they told these are all the cash flows for which year, sir? The end of? first year. Correct? Yes. Are you 100% sure this is the only cash flow you will achieve or cash flow could change? Cash flow could change based on the events. Like here, they have given here. Check. They are saying, if event A happens, no. If event A happens, the cash flow that this project A is going to generate at the first year is only 8,000. If event B happens, then the cash flow is going to be like event E happens means this cash flow is going to be 16. Like what could be this event is company feels, you know, in COVID long, 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 long ago, lockdown concept was introduced. You remember many people have forgotten it. It's become history, but we did face that. Yes. Literally lock in, lock yourself and uh, throw the key inside your place. Only. Hmm? So let's say this event A means company feels if the lockdown is imposed for three weeks means then the company feels we'll be able to achieve a cash flow of 8,000. If government brings in a lockdown of only three weeks means from this project, we can get a cash flow of 8,000. If company imposes or government imposes a lockdown of only two weeks means then company feels they may achieve a cash flow of 10,000. That is the event that they are talking about. Okay, event is a market specific activity. Okay, fair enough everyone. This event could be anything. Like now there is a lot of hoopla or drama around new syllabus. Okay. If new syllabus gets announced, do you think anybody will buy our new course? Right now, new syllabus ka material has not come. No one in the, no one has even started. No teacher has started the recording also. Because they told it will come, it will come, it will come, it will come. When people have their own assumption. Is the material released? No. Has anyone recorded new subject ka? No. Only when the material comes, then every faculty will review it. Then accordingly, they start their recording. Yes or no? So currently, what are we selling? The existing one only. Okay. Suppose if new syllabus is announced, our existing course, suppose this uh, uh, new syllabus was announced for November attempt. It will not come. Just an example. Don't spread rumors. He told November, I will stop my preparation. I will not write my exam. Bad. Okay. This is just for the sake of example. Let's say you are writing in the month of November. Okay. And new, instead of all new syllabus will introduce from November only. Then would you like to study in old syllabus or new syllabus? Probably new because they're cutting on few subjects. No, correct or no? Then what happens to my old recording of cash flow? 
will i achieve high sales in the old uh, old recordings or my sales will drop off that could be the event if new syllabus may if there is a delay if institute let's say delays by let's say six months that's what literally happened also in if i have to tell november december may our sales dropped because everyone were waiting for new syllabus people didn't want to study old one our recorded sales dropped january may it got clear that it will not come jumped big jump why did did, our, did we do any changes to our recording no it was just an event that triggered our cash flow that is what they're talking about okay due to some events your cash flows could change more importantly do you understand the meaning everybody so if this event happens means 8000 will be the cash flow and they are saying what there is a 10 percent chance that event a will occur probability is your chance percentage point one is point one means how much sir 10 percent there is a 10 percent chance that in the first year what event is going to happen event a that means there is a 10 percent chance that i'll achieve how much cash flow 8000 now you tell me how much percentage chance for b event is there point two point two means there is a 20 percent chance that in the first year what event will occur b and event b occurs means what will be my cash flow 10,000. Let's go for the last one. There is how much percentage chance for event E? There is a 10% chance that what event will occur, sir? Event E. And if this occurs, how much will be my cash flow? 60. Deep down, I am happy, I'm estimating for which event to take place? Event E. Because event E occurs means higher will be my cash flows. But I feel how much percent chance is there? 10,000. Normally, when you computed NPV and all, no? did you consider these elements? No. You blatantly ignored them. But aren't these also important for your decision? Yes, no, because of the events, your cash flow is same or changing? Change. That is what we mean by risk analysis. Consider these factors and then find out your revised cash flow or your revised NPV. Understood the meaning now. Okay. Hmm? Uh, One of you. Okay. Hmm. Go on. Uh, someone is asking, sir, all these are unrelated events or related events and as far as the exam goes these are independent events practicality goes event you can never look at in isolation they always go hand in hand okay here they are unrelated events hmm? i'll calculate one i'll solve for you okay it's not that see probability means it's a okay just to take up your question if you add up all this it will be what sir 100%? Okay. So basically, when you're calculating cash flow, no, I'm saying there is a 10% chance that this will be my cash flow. But I need how much percentage cash flow? 100%. So I need to factor in each component and then find the totality. Let me find it one. I think that will probably give you a better idea. I think your question will be answered there. Can I start everyone? Same data they have given for project B. This we call it as probability technique, meaning find out what are what is your chances of your cash flow actually occurring to that extent here there is only 40 percent chance that you will hit how much cash flow 12,000 rupees how to consider that let me take you don't have to copy everything is given over here if you just uh, sit like a god and observe that is okay for this everything i've brought in but still if you want to write also i have no issues whatsoever huh? in your material there is no solution at all then uh, you bought our material maybe one year back uh, because I bought then last time only I bought uh, printed this. Oh, they, when did you order? Hey, yes, oh, yeah, yeah, they gave you old one. Huh? Okay, I'll just check on that. No problem. Only solution is missing. The between old and new, I only brought in the new solutions. No worries. I'll just check with them. Mm, some got about no issues. Okay. No problem. Anyway, this question is up from study material also. <laughs> Not a big deal. It's the same thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so finding out. Working note number one, expected net present value. Expected or I'll do a thing. First I will do expected net cash flows. I'll call this for class purpose as ENCF. Even our study meter also uses the short form. So should be acceptable. ENCF. First, let me copy the data as they've given, sir. First, I'll do it for project A. Then we will do the same exercise for project B. Event. 
event is your first just check the number of columns if you're copying then copy later don't say i didn't know the spacing and all that just check first That'll be easier hmm? okay one minute okay and i'll write first column is your event i'm telling what this is for pro i wrote both the bb yeah? this is for project a next one is for project b so what have they given in the question first is your cash flow then what have they given sir probability then i'll have a column known as expected value let me do a thing let me number them also it will become easier this i'll call it as column number one this is your column number two this is your column number three expected value four is two multiplied by three okay i think these three are sufficient and here only we could have found out all right same columns for uh, project b cash flows this is your column number five then they have given probability this is your column number six and then expected value this is your column number seven column number seven is given by five multiplied by six with these many columns you need to have it in your notebook guys if you're copying Can I start I'm making those columns? Huh? First, observe for one maybe. I'll give you some time. Understand first. First event. How many events they have given? About five. So let me copy them. A, B, C, D, and finally F R. E na. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Cash flow they have given. Okay. How much is that? Eight thousand. Next one is what pa? Ten thousand and then twelve thousand, fourteen thousand, sixteen thousand. Have they also given probability factors for each of the events? Yes, this is zero point one or zero point two zero. Then here it is zero point four zero. Then it is zero point two zero, and then finally it is zero point one zero. Stop what you're doing. Check the screen, all of you. check check sir this is different different years ka cash flow or first year cash flow only they told first year ka cash flow is influenced by the events how many events five different types of events a b c d e like that okay there is how much normally in our npv what we used to do sir we used to plainly estimate how much is going to be my first year cash flow take that do your npv yes yes but even first year ka cash flow is influenced by many 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 factors okay that is what has been brought in over here check here if event a happens how much cash flow you can achieve 8000 there is 100 percent chance that event a will happen or only 10 percent 10 percent the probability is only 10 percent or 0 0.10 so cash flow you should take for your npv calculation is logically you think should i take 8000 for my mpv calculation no i should only take 800 why 800 8000 multiplied by 10% because there is only 10% chance that I will hit this cash flow. No? So that means I am expecting to achieve this cash flow of only how much? 800. Like this. Got it, everybody? That's the reason I've written the column from before as 2 multiplied by 3. Any problem or good? Good. So now tell me, sir, for event B, how much uh, is the cash flow expecting for event B? 10,000. If 100% if event B happen means totally how much I will achieve? 10,000. There is 100% chance for event to be or only 20% chance. 20% is a 0 0.2. Yes, no? So that means how much cash flow I should take over here? 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.2, which is how much? 2,000. Ah, hence only I'm selling this as expected value. Okay, now. For this will be what? For 12 fours are 48. So this will be 4,800. Okay, I'll, I'll directly write it. So okay, now here only I've given 2 multiplied by 3. 
So basically 12,000 multiplied by 0.40 is 4,800 and here it is 2,800 and here it is 1,600. So do the total 2,800, 3,600, 7,600, 10,400, 11,000, 12,000 up. Can you sum it up? Are you getting 12 everybody? Up. Got it everyone? Hmm? No, not necessary. <laughs> that, see, cash flow is influenced only by one event. Huh? Now here, the cash flow is influenced only by one event. In my example, I told, no cash flow is in one, one event which affects my cash flow is institute announcing new syllabus. Another event that influence could be is my quality of the content. Suppose one teacher dropped out from us. He left, left us and joined another academy. Do you think I will achieve his subject ka same sales now or it could drop also? Drop also. Only one event is happening or multiple. Multiple. So cash flow is not just affected by one event. It could be affected by hundreds of events. Here they have given five events which is affecting my cash flow. Like that. Valid question. Hope you got the answer. That is also valid only. Hmm? Ah. Everyone good? Now, 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 I will take what cash flow to find out my NPV? Not this 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 and all. By considering all the probabilities, how much cash flow have I got? 12, this 12,000 I will take, then find out my NPV. Now you tell me my decision is more real now. Correct? I'm considering the events which affects my cash flow, then finding out the NPV. Don't you think this is much better than the previous one? This is your risk analysis, Ashti. Got it? Okay. All good. Give me a confirmation, people. Fine, sir. Okay. So that means can we do it for project B now? Project B ka cash flow, you tell me, they have only given so cash flows and probability factor. We'll copy from the question. How much is that? 24,000. Then 20,000. Then 16,000. Maybe correspondingly, I'll copy probability factor also. 0 0.10, 0 0.15, and then 0 0.50. Then the cash flow is 12,000. Here it is 0 0.15, 8,000, and here it is 0 0.10. What I have to do now? I can I consider this cash flows or I have to multiply it by probability factor? Multiply. There is a 10% chance that event A occurs and uh, the cash flow that event A brings for project B is only 24,000. So how much will be my expected value? 2,400. Here it will be 3,000 rupees. Okay. And here it will be 16,000 multiplied by 0.5 which will be? 8, here will be 1800 lastly it will be 800 and when you sum it up everything 16000 is your number that this 12000 and 16000 no we call it as encf encf means for our uh, npv calculation we used to take annual net cash flow remember here that's what we are saying expected net cash flow like okay that's what. By considering what element? Probability element in this particular table. That's all. Now take this number and do your normal NPV calculation. Now you're free to copy. I've not done the problem yet. This if you want to update in your notes, you can do so. Or if you can just check also, it is okay. I will share this also with you. I don't know why it happened. They shared the old one or something. I'll share this also. The revised one. I'll ask them to do it. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah we have to find. Because they are asking for the decision. So decision will be based on NPV only, but cash flows that you use for NPV will get, will differ over here. That's all. Finished also. Can I start the NPV? So next is your calculation of NPV. Or specifically they told, ask you to calculate expected NPV. That is your normal call. Or you can refer ICA material also. Absolutely okay. Mine is anyway, all the questions are from ICA only. Except additional questions I've added from RTPs, MTPs and all. Otherwise, I have not built anything. Okay, it's all, it's from there only I have taken. Earlier, I used to have my own material before, in fact. But many students told, no, 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 sir, we want to use that only. Hence, I modified that. Okay, so I thought, okay, whatever the student's demand is, we should fulfill it. Okay, like that. No worries. Huh? What, what, ma? Huh? <laughs> I tell you, you do, sir. How much you're talking today, they say. <laughs> okay. We can do it together or you can do it for one project of the other also. Mm, Josh, uh, tell me uh, for uh, this one, uh, 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 for what are the things we need for NPV? Here, 
okay then it will be cash cash flows mm, okay then actually one minute let me can i modify the column slightly yeah? let it be it's okay next you find out what's discount factor what is the discount factor you will take here they only given check how much is that 10 percent then find out what sir the npv yes or you can write it as or you can simply write it as present value of cash same columns you need to replicate for project b also same thing you write here cash flow discount factor at 10 percent and then finally your present value of cash flows First, I will start with what's here zero. Yes, no. Outflow not given. Huh? First line only check. The initial investment for both the project is how much? Ten thousand. Given in the second line of the question only. Correct? Huh? Year zero ka cash flow is ten thousand. What is the discount factor for year one, sir? Or year zero, it is one. Present value of cash flows. If you want, you can number the column also. This is one, two, and this is three. Four. How do you get, sir? 2 multiplied by 3. So 10,000 minus 10,000 into 1 gives you 10,000 only. Then they have given multiple year ka cash flows or only one year ka. One year ka. Which one? Will you take a project take a these cash flows now or expected net cash flow? Expected net cash flow. How much is that? 12,000. Take this 12,000. ENCF stands for expected net cash flow. Here only I have written. Hmm? expected net cash flow okay <clears throat> so what is the discount factor for first year sir be 0 0.909 yes no so multiply this and tell me how much is it 10908 so how much is your npv then or npv or expected npv so your expected npv is for first project or positive or negative or what sir 908 positive yes or no can we do the same thing for project b you want to finish copying huh? now you got your doubt or how things are considered for npv calculation can i go for project b people okay what is the year zero ka cash flow for project b sir if you want year column you can cut off also because anyway same if you want this, you can cut off also. It should be okay. okay well, let's have maybe common call. Or you have already written, huh? Okay. Then it's okay. If you have written, we'll continue. No issues. This is 5, this is 6, and this is 7. How do you get 8 here then? Cash flow multiplied by the discount factor, 6 into 7. Year 0, 1, and that's all. What is the cash outflow for year 0 for project B? I said both the project ka initial investment is 10,000 only. So, 10,000 outflow, so negative. Discount factor for year 0 is 1. So, this will be minus 10,000. What is the cash flow of project B for year 1 now? The expected net cash flow, which is 16,000. Discount factor is 0 0.909. How much will be that? 14,005. 544. In fact, year column, discount factor column, you could have cut off because anyway, both are there here also. You can make that as common. I wrote it off, so I'm not modifying now. Okay, in exam, you can cut off these two. They are repetitive in which remaining you keep it. So you are getting what as NPV now? The expected N NPV is 4544 is your expected net present value. They ask the decision, sir. What will be your decision? How do you choose based on NPV? Whichever project gives you the higher NPV, you will choose that. Here, whichever project gives you the higher expected NPV, you will choose that. Which is higher? Okay, so which project is giving me higher expected NPV? B. So, what is the decision? Select project B. And that's all. So, discount factor can be cut off rate also. Yeah, yeah. Cut off rate is also discount factor. Sir, so 0.909, I didn't get. Discount factor, da, ma chawa, da. You gave me heart attack only, no, da. How do you get discount factor for first year, da? I forgot, da. How do you get discount factor? 1 divided by 1 plus I whole power N. Whole investment topic we did, no, da. Discount factor calculation. 
said last last may you used pvaf sir so i forgot how to calculate pviaf only 1 divided by 1.1 1 divided by 1.1 that calculation macha able to retrace it ah okay now you got it don't give me heart attack da i have weak hearted person <laughs> this is all if you say means at the end of ramayana it's like telling krishna did come only <laughs> yeah like that sort of a dialogue it is yeah uh, have we finished this copy is it possible to solve and pv with all the yeah yeah you can do it. sir i'll do it straight away by putting in bracket yeah you can do it. that is absolutely you can do it in one liner rolls but anyway sir i have to do something which fits in for in everybody's framework so that's the reason yeah, you can do it no problem problem number 1 according to me is over you have any issues or next question next question is it got an idea how to do it okay if this question comes you'll have a, what sort of a face happy or a sad face happy face ah huh? okay question number 2 probabilities for net cash flow this time for how many years 3 years of a project they have given in the previous question they had given two projects ka various events ka cash flow here they have given cash flows of only one project but not for one year but for multiple years in fact more specifically they have given it for three years first year they have given cash flow and they have given probability factor what we need to do find out the expected value how do you find out expected value take cash flow multiply it by the probability factor same thing we have to do it only for year 1 or also for year 2 and year 3 also year 2 and year 3 also you take that number to find out your what final np that is what find out the expected net cash flow they are asking yes we will do that calculate the expected npv also using what percent discount rate 10% and initial investment they are telling it as 10% isn't it straightforward question can we fatafat fatafat do it okay question number 2 working note number 1 will be to find out what sir expected net cash flow which we will call it as en cf so they have given for 3 years na so we will copy this table only same cop table will copy with one extra column for all the years that is expected value so number of columns will be 3 here 3 here 3 here totally 9 columns you need to maintain Three three columns for each years. Cash flows, probability factor, and then what, sir? Expected value. Cash flow, I'll call it as one. Probability, I'll call it as two. How do I get expected value? One multiplied by two. This is for the first year. Do the same exercise for year. cash flow this is column number 4 then probability or probability factor which is column number 5 and then expected value which is column number 6 4 multiplied by 5 gives you that <clears throat> then for year 3 cash flow column number 7 probability factor column number 8 and finally expected value which is column number 9 which is 7 multiplied by <clears throat> have you made those uh, columns in your notebook have you done that okay let's copy the data as it is so this one i'm copying these two can you help me with these what are they told 2000 and there is how much percentage chance of that 2000 happening 0.1 and then it is 4000 and 0.2 i'm copying all this from the question 6000 and it is 0.3 here 8000 and 0.4 what does this point 1 mean sir tell me once again 
there is a 10% chance that in the first year we'll achieve how much percent, how much value of cash flow? 2000. And uh, what is this? 0 0.4, meaning there is a 40% chance that in the first year we'll achieve 8000. So we'll have to find out the expected net cash flow, ENCF. How do you get ENCF? Cash flows multiplied by the probability factors. Okay, 2000 into 0.1 gives me 200, 4000 into 0.2 gives me 800, this will be 1800, this will be 3200, 5000, so 6000 expected net cash flow when you sum up or add all this, you're going to get 6000 rupees. Similarly, for the second year, the cash flow given is 2000, 0.2. 4000 is the cash flow probability factor is 0.3 this i'm copying okay these ditto i'm copying here it is 6000 and 0 0.4 and 8000 and 0 0.1 if you add the probability factors it will sum up to 1 because it is 100 percent even if everywhere whenever you add it will come up to 1 okay the expected value is these two ka multiplication so it will be 400 1200, 2400 and 800, 4000, 4800, 4800 is your expected value for the second year. Similarly, for your third year, the cash flow and probability factor I'm copying from this. So it is 2000 and 0 0.3, then it is 4000, 0 0.4 then 6000 and 0 0.2, 8000 and 0.1. When you multiply, here it will be 600, 1600, 1200 and 800, 2000, 3600, 4200 is your expected value. Now for all the three years, do you know expected net cash flow? Yes. Use that expected NCF and calculate your expected NPV. That's all. You want me to zoom in on anything for you to copy or can I go for expected NPV calculation? Hmm? Expected NPV? Online? Work. So expected NPV, same calculation. What are the things you need, sir? Year, then year, cash flow, and then discount factor they only given the discount factor in this uh, case how much is that 10 percentage and then finally you find out what sir present value of cash flows they've given only one project ka, so only these many columns are sufficient 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 Again, just to be on the benefit side, how do you find out discount factor? Discount factor is given by 1 divided by 1 plus i whole power n. So first we start with year 0, then 1, then 2, and uh, finally 3. Cash flow, we will take what under cash flow, sir? Expected net cash flow. What is expected net cash flow for first year, second year, third year? 6,000, 4,800 and lastly it is 4,200. These are the cash flows at the end of the year you are expecting. At year 0, the initial investment required to start the project they told us 10,000. Bring that in. Out, these, are, these are inflows, so positive. This is an outflow, so negative. Discount factor is nothing but 1 divided by 1 plus i whole power n. So 1 divided by 1.1 you do in your calculator. For year 0 it is 1. For first year you get 0 0.909. Again go kick press equals to button you are going to get 0 0.8264. Again press equals to button you are going to get 0 0.7513. I am restricting myself to 3 decimals. So that is the calculation. Everyone remembers discount factor calculation and all no? 
almost 40 45 problems done in investment decision hmm? yeah all right so what will be our uh, finally our expected npv first multiply present value of cash flow is multiplication of these two 6000 into 0.909 is how much sir huh 5254 5454 okay these two ka multiplication 3964 okay i'll make it as 3965 it's okay hmm? 3154 can i take it so when you sum up all these numbers npv how do you get npv first of all hope you remember that formula how do you, how do you get that Present value of cash inflow minus present value of cash outflow. These are all your inflows. This is your outflow. So when you sum it up, how much you're going to get? 2573 is your final expected NP. If they have not asked for decision, if at all they ask for decision, what will you write? Since expected NPV. This is for one project. No? So the decision rule is if NPV is greater than zero, accept the project. Otherwise, reject. Here, since NPV is greater than zero, you can accept the project. So they did not ask the decision. So I'll stop myself here. Any other confusion or any waiting time required for you to copy or are all good? All good. Okay. Thank you.